already on day three of the Amber Geiger murder trial. Yeah, much has already happened in the way of motions, objections, and new information that has been shared inside the courtroom. Here's a look now on how we got here. Day three of the Geiger trial focused on interviews with neighbors at the South Side Flats, but perhaps the most attention came from expert testimony given by Texas Ranger David Armstrong. Ranger Armstrong was the lead investigator in the case and offered this response to a very clear-cut question from the defense. Do you believe today that you have probable cause to believe that Amber Geiger committed a crime? Based on the totality of the circumstances, based on the complete investigation, no, sir. It was testimony that Judge Tammy Kemp didn't allow the jury to hear following objections. Armstrong's opinion comes after explaining that his investigation proved many other residents also mistook their apartment floors like Geiger claims. It also showed how Botham John's apartment door could have stayed open without locking, all leading to the fatal encounter between Geiger and John. I believe that she did perceive it, him as a deadly threat. Earlier in the week, the trial almost derailed before it even started after the judge was made aware that the Dallas District Attorney, John Cruzo, violated her gag order by giving a local TV station an interview on the case. The defense motioned for a mistrial, but it was eventually denied. Yesterday, for the first time, 911 recordings were played in court of Geiger calling for help. She would repeat the same remarks to the first responding officers as seen on their body camera footage played in the courtroom. And of course, our coverage continues on CBS 11 News at 5 o'clock. You can also watch the trial in its entirety on our website, cbsdfw.com.